Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 on Woodshire. Now, as you can see, we need to finish up the rest of this field here, and it's raining. Never a good thing to have it raining when you're trying to uh, cultivate a field, but we gotta get it done, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot here. Now, since we're not using all kinds of realistic brown mods and stuff, we should be fine. Uh, just that this needs to be done so we can get this over with move on to like field six because field six has still got to be I think it's field six yeah field six still has to be plowed so well, there's still a lot of work to be done in this uh, in this in this time frame that we have here uh, now I probably will skip the night again of course uh, we're gonna sleep through the night uh, we're back on the first day of spring because I did forget to reset the days so we reset the days it set us back to day one of spring so that's kind of nice at least we gained a day here uh, instead of being in day two and uh, not having not having that extra day back for us probably have to make one more pass down through here I get all this done I can get done oh it's even worse in cab Ooh, a glare worse um, but yeah, the, the, the fast night thing I really like because it gives us the ability to sleep through night instead of just speeding up time uh, and sitting around waiting for it, so it's kind of nice to have that. Guys, if you haven't been checking out the multiplayer series, definitely go check it out. We're doing some crazy stuff over there for sure, so uh, be sure to go check that out. Now, I, I don't think I'll be doing any questions and stuff in this series because I'm probably recording these pretty early and then putting them out, so... Um, yeah, I don't think there'll be any like Q and A or anything like that. If you do have any questions or anything in the comments, uh, these are probably fairly early pre-recorded. Pre I'm trying to get ahead of these. Uh, that way, when I go out of town, I have some of these pre-recorded for you guys to watch. Uh, because I have uh, probably next week or so, I do have a couple of uh, days I'll be out. I say a couple. I'll be gone for like two weeks, so um, just be aware of that and. Uh, Know that I'm probably not going to be here for those. But uh, either way, I'm going to finish up this field and we're probably going to time lapse it like we have been doing just so you guys can see the entire uh, the entire length of what we're doing here. And then uh, we'll go get started on field six and then we'll go cut our road, uh, hopefully, and uh, get that done. So uh, hang on for the time lapse. that done build five is ready to uh, ready to be seated and again we don't have a fertilizer so we're gonna have to uh, make do without to start with and uh, kind of neat you can see the heat coming off the pipe yeah we'll make do without the fertilizer for the first season because we're gonna have to we don't have one and we don't have the money to really buy one I don't know how we got oh we got 16 grand because we were selling logs that's right so we're gonna make us a few bucks like that. Uh, maybe maybe upgrade slightly on something. Uh, maybe buy some fertilizer. We can we can make do with what we have right now. Pretty much everything. Now I think we took our other tractor on over to field six. Field six. What other field do we have? Yeah, field six. No, we did not. Where is it at? This one. Oh, it's over there. I forgot we left it over there on that side. Okay, we need to go get this guy first. Hey, it stopped raining. Nice. Or it's not raining on this side of the map. One of the two. Uh, although it is getting late, the sun's going down. So, uh, we will indeed head over to uh, build six with this tractor. And then uh, cut a few headlands and get him started and then we'll go grab or her started and then we'll go get get the other tractor and get it started as well and then we will come back and we're gonna buy a roller 
for the uh, terrain mod. Not the terrain mod. The uh, Can I go this way? Field 6. I, don't, I really don't know the best way to get to field 6. Uh, it looks like going... It looks like going up through here is probably going to... That's the, that's the creek right there. So it looks like going up and around is probably going to be the best way. Or maybe go all the way down here. Probably. Yeah, let's go all the way down. Looks like the best way to do so. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to cut the road up around field 2 just because we need a field road in. And we need a wide enough space to get the that six that big old 6 meter cedar won't fit through there, believe it or not. It won't fit through the farm. So uh, we're going to have to have a way in and out of the farm of that thing. Uh, this map was definitely made for small equipment. Uh, trying to get some big, big equipment through here would be just plain ridiculous. So uh, I don't think you're going to be pulling the Limpkin plow around this place. I mean, you probably could. You could try, I guess. There's, there's another little grass field right here we could mow. Lots of little grass fields uh, that are that are actual fields. They're just not numbered, so they're free fields. I think that's the entrance for it there. Oh, there's another storage shed. Dang, man, we missed that. In the... Uh, we missed that in the... Uh, the, the map walkthrough. And I think this is the cow shed over here. The cow, the cow, uh, cow barn. Yeah, so we'll need to buy a field um, eight and nine to work that field, work the cows in. I need to go across here. It's like the creek ended. Did it? No, it keeps going. Okay. Just a nice little culvert there. I just gotta go through the trees. Go ahead and throw that on. Get some light in here on us. Whew. Just bumpy up through here. You can tell this is a logging road. This is a this is a bumpy one here. And we should come out right here by field six. It's all said and done. Yeah, there we go. Got a little shed right there. Field six. All right, now field six is not very big at all, but I do need to cut a couple of headlands for it. So uh, let me go back into third person here, just so you guys can see the work, and so I can see the work. <laughs> let's let's not lie about it. Uh, I can't tell what I'm doing if I'm not in third person most of the time. So uh, I'm just not a first person player for the most part. Now I'll drive in first person; that doesn't bother me too much. But uh, as far as Doing the field work in first person? Eh, not so much. It's just it's not something I normally do. Wait a minute. Is that how far out does that go? It doesn't. Okay. That's it. So it does go a little wider than what the grass shows, but that's okay. We can figure that out later. Uh looks like we can go back down through there a little bit too. It is a little bit wider than I was giving it credit for. Down through there. I think the grass was throwing me off because it looked like, yeah, as you can see. Uh, right there at the beginning. It's like we're missing some, so might go back and hit that up a little bit. Like I said, we'll just cut two or three headlands here. And uh, just so it doesn't have to, whoever's helping us doesn't have to uh, run all up in the trees on the end or whatever. This isn't going to be perfect. Uh, no GPS, no none of that, so I'm keeping it as straight as I can keep it. That's all I can do. Probably cut one more, we'll go the other end, do the same, and then we'll bring, uh, bring our other guy in. Get him going, and we're going to go work on the road while they're working on this field. It's probably not going to take them too long. This field is not that big. And uh, they're not doing a whole lot of up and down uh, hill. Not like this. This is a pretty drastic uphill. Uh, well, I guess the other way is too. Looking down the hill that way, it's probably going to be pretty uh, pretty tough on them. So, all right, let's go down to the other end. We may not even need to cut a headland down here. It may just be. Uh, looks like it's just open field here. Yeah, I probably don't even need to cut a headland here. So, uh, well, you know what? Right here on the edge. Right here on the edge. We'll, we'll go ahead and cut a small headland here. Woo. That's a steep hill. I mean, that is, that, that's a steep, steep hill right there. It's a heck of a drop-off. 
Gotta be careful not to roll something in there. Uh, let's go ahead and back back down there. I don't want to. I don't want to drive that way. We'll just back back down the hill here to, to do this one more time. There we go, and uh, that should be enough. It should be enough for headroom, right there. Should be plenty. And done. There we go. We'll go. We'll start this guy on the other end down here. I feel like starting them on this end is probably going to be more beneficial. So, I would like to buy field one since it's between our farm and field six right here. Be kind of nice. All right, let's uh, head down and hire a worker. Maybe they'll stay on the edge of the field here. Looks like they're gonna do something weird. They're gonna run out of the field, maybe. No, looks looks like they're gonna make it. Okay, good. Let's go grab the uh, grab the case here. Sheep look like they're getting a little bit dirty here. We'll need to clean them up when we come back. And uh, we're going to need to get them some food before long because they're getting they're getting very slim on the grass. We don't have a way to uh, cut grass yet because we can't start cutting grass until the second day maybe? I can't remember. Uh, so this is field one right here. We don't have, really have a way around field one over to our field either, so uh, that may be something we need to address. Kind of make us a field road up and around, maybe cut all these trees down. Oh, man, I don't want to mess with cutting those down. We may we may take out uh, part of this field right here, make it a bit smaller. We'll have to buy it to do so, but I guess we could come around that way, bottom side of it maybe. We'll have to see. That's something we'll work on in the future. All right. Get her going on this one. Looks good. Now let's go grab the pickup. Yeah, see, they are they are about to get uh, about to get bad off here. Uh, we should have enough to last them another day. But uh, other than that, I don't think we're going to be doing too good. So, do we need to put this in the truck or on the trailer? I think trying to put it on the trailer may be a better option. We're going to have to use the case for that. So, let's go clean the sheep up real quick. And then uh, we'll grab the case. They were, I mean, they were only 45% dirty, but still, while we're, while we're here, we might as well go ahead and clean them up, I guess. So, uh, and then we can take this and dump it back in there, hopefully. It gives them a little food back since they keep kicking it out of there. Oh, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to leave this whole thing sitting here, I think. There we go. Uh, we could get them some more water. Because it's it's already set in here. All we gotta do is hook up to it, so that'll help out. Uh the food, I don't know what to do about the food situation, to be quite honest. There we go. It's completely empty. How did that? How did that do for them? Where they're at? Uh, that got them close. That's plenty for the next couple of days. That should get them through. Um, that should get them to summer anyway. If we can get to summer, guys, we'll have a few bales. Because uh, we got a little ba little baler there. We got a little bale trailer right here. We're about to use so. 
we can get them to summer, we should be fine. That way we can cut some grass. That hooked up there. That is a pretty neat little trailer. Now given we can't make real sharp turns with it, but uh, it's pretty neat. Now we should be able to get a few logs on here. I'm going to try to level this thing out the best I can. Pretty unlevel right here. Go ahead and just cut that off. I want to get some of these longer logs on here. We'll work on getting some other ones on the truck. I don't know if that's going to stay. It is going to stay. Sweet. All right, so this might work. Kind of. Might end up getting quite a few logs on here. Maybe even some of the shorter pieces on top. Oh boy. Come back here. Uh, and I'm not doing this for logging. This is not my logging experience here. This is this is me cutting a road around field two just simply so we can get the, the seed drill out because seed drill doesn't fit through any of the, the fences or gates or anything. So we're gonna have to be very careful about where we where we move the seed drill. up against that it did good uh, let's grab some of these off of this side I think we could probably get this whole thing on here if we stack it just right be very careful about our stacking here it's gonna take some some finesse which I normally don't have a whole lot of so I don't want that one the longer one right here I guess Next longest option that's a big log. I guess we could put this one. And one more right there. Yeah. So we can do that and then we can do this. Oh boy. Get back under here. There we go. Now then. Uh, this is probably not the most exciting thing in the world to watch, but. This kind of stuff has to be done. I need to make a road here now. Uh, that being done, we need one piece to go right there. One short piece. Let's see what's down here. Try that one. I think it's nice that when I drop these down, they just stay in place. Not very realistic, if you want my opinion. But. Oh boy. That's what I was afraid of. Making a dang mess. Oh, look how well these things stay in place. Yeah. Do you start knocking them around with other logs, you big dummy? So when you're not using an actual logging setup, you got to be very careful about this kind of stuff. You can very quickly make a mess. Oh, what? Well, I dropped that. I did drop that. Why did it come back? It was attached to my hand. All right, guys. I'm going to actually time lapse this. Back in a second. All right. Now, other than taking a few extra minutes, that actually works pretty well. Not bad. All right. While we're at the farm, let's go ahead and go to bed for the night. Uh, it is getting late. We do have to get up early and go back to work. So I will see you guys in the morning time. All right. Day two. Again. Um, I think they're still going over there on the field. Let's go just check on them here real quick. Where are they at? They're on field six. Uh, oh. Hey, look at here. They're... Both having some troubles. Get out of the way. Not our field. Let's not be driving on it. It looks like they were both headed that way. Uh, we're going to let that one finish that up. We're going to grab the cultivator. And for now, since there's nothing growing on this field, we may just cut through here. They were going to have to. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to buy this field and cut us a field road around the edge of this thing, I think. Unless we can go that way. I'll tell you what, let's grab the cultivator and head back, and we'll go around. Well, no, there's not even a field road there, it's just grass. Alright, well, we may have to rethink this. Not real sure what to do with it. I do know after this, though, we are done with the plows for this season. Oh, I gotta lower it first. That's right. There we go. Let's grab the cultivator. This this tractor should be more than more than enough power uh, for the court cultivator. 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 The cultivator. Um, either 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 one of these tractors should be enough for it. Uh, the only one that I, I have that doesn't have a whole lot of power. This one actually fits this tractor better too. It doesn't drop down at an angle. Uh, the only one I don't have that might not have enough power would be the case. And a case, the Massey. Is that a Massey or a case? I think it's a Massey. The Massey, yeah, the case is the other one. Uh, the only one we don't have is the Massey that, that might not have enough power for it. So uh, That's something we have to keep in mind when we're doing field work, is the, the Massey tractor doesn't have just a whole lot of power. And yeah, we're going to cut these people's field. Uh, it is, like, right in the middle of our property, because we own this field, and we own the grass field and the sheep farm over there. So we are going to have to cut through. I'm going to start right here and cut a headland down this way first. Um, I'll probably spin around at the bottom as to keep from running off the edge of the thing here. Uh, but I feel like this is probably going to be a better option. Yeah, I figured having two plows was going to be the way to go. Uh, it's a total of four meters on each field, which isn't bad, really, if you think about it. A four meter, four meter plow, it's not too bad. So uh, having two two meters running is not such a bad thing, really. All right, let's. Oh, I thought I said pick that up. There we go. Helper H has completed his task. Nice. Yeah, when the thing popped up earlier, I, I thought, well, maybe they got out, but they didn't. They were still tangled up, so I just didn't realize. All right, let's go one more time here. And if I'm not mistaken. I think we can start planning now because it is 46 degrees. The ground temperature is 46 degrees, which also means the grass should be ready to cut as well. So we should be able to get us some some, uh, some hay for our sheepish hope anyway. And I want to do hay instead of just grass because we have a tether. We can turn it. We have a windrow so we can row it back up if need be. Uh, yeah, I know this guy's in my way. I'm about to move him. I'm just going to back him up right here. We're going to take him with us when we go back toward the farm. We're going to leave it running even. Let it warm up a little bit. Well, that cleaned up the edge some there. Yeah, there we go. That cleaned it up a little bit. All right, let's cut one more here. Again, just so they don't have to drive up into the trees on the end down on this side. I think that helps out a lot. Uh, cutting these headlands here. Now, I guess you could, in theory, if you were, if you were doing everything yourself, which I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm just using the AI help in-game, so whatever they can't do, I'll have to do, uh, which is fine. It's not that big a deal. Uh, I'm more using the AI help to kind of get me going so that I can do other things as well. Uh, not so much for being lazy. I don't mind plowing. We did field two and field twelve. Um, it's not. It's not so much that. It's more just to kind of spread the workload around so that I can get other stuff done as well. Oh, I'm blocking her. Sorry. Um, but yeah, these fields are not really that big, and with this size of equipment, you would think, man, that's going to take forever. It really didn't take them long to do this. Like in the time I loaded the trailer, they were done plowing. So. Uh, it really doesn't take that long to do this at all. Now, at some point, I would like to have a, a big logging operation because that's something I haven't done a whole lot of, um, is logging. And this is a fantastic map, it seems like, to do so. So, that may be something we look into. Uh, I do know I want to focus primarily on sheep for a while, so we got to cut some grass and get some hay tedded and uh, get it baled up. And I'm really curious to see these little bales. That'll probably have to be in the next episode, but uh, yeah, the grass is ready to cut. As you can see there, it is ready to go. And I think that is an actual field, so I could fertilize that grass and make it grow even better. 
but I need to get it cut as soon as possible uh, so that I can get at least two cuts out of it for the season. I don't plan on selling the bales. We're going to need them, so um, we're going to have to keep them, hang on to them. But I don't plan on, on selling them, so... Uh, mainly just for that reason, is because we're going to need them to feed our animals. So we're going to need somewhere to put them as well. I guess really we could probably rearrange some stuff over here, but uh, we'll have to wait on that. Uh, but right now, I want to back this guy into here. There we go. Then we'll just cut that off. We'll get him started in the next episode as well. Uh, we got plenty of time, so let's let's open up our, our menu here. Yeah, see, we can start seeding. Uh, the ground temperature is above 41, which is nice. We can't do soybeans yet, but we can do everything else. So, uh, And we can start harvesting grass really about midday today. So uh, we'll probably work on that. Poplar, I don't know how what the growth stage on this poplar is, poplar is going to be. So I'll we'll have to wait and see. Uh, let's see here if it'll show me the growth stage on it. Needs plowing, so really we need to plow it up and start it over, but, uh, oh, it says harvested, so there is no poplar there. Dang it all. All right, well, I was hoping there would be. There is not. Uh, that's all right. Let's go get this stuff to the store and get it sold and see how much money we end up with. Uh, it did take us a little bit of running cost. Oh, you know what? The rest of this didn't get cultivated. They missed a little row right here. That's all right, we come back, we'll, we'll cultivate it. And this is the first field we're going to seed as well, so we're right here by the house. Uh, I do need to buy a stump grinder, so we'll probably have to go pick that up too. Let's make sure we're not losing anything off the back here. I like this little bell trailer. This thing is, is fantastic. It's not it's not overly big, and the size of bells we're using are 600 liter bells, so uh, it's just about right for what we're going to be doing. And we can hand stack 600 liter bells, I think. Uh, we can pick up those logs. We should be able to hand stack 600 liters. Uh, if not, we have forks on this on this tractor. Um, I think we have bell forks at the house somewhere. Thought I saw them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're there. But either way, we, we have bell forks for it. So uh, if nothing else, we can just pull this trailer out in the field after we uh, and that field right there can be cut too. So we can get plenty of grass bells. No cop, no stop. Uh, we can get plenty of grass bells. Uh, to feed our animals. There's all kinds of grass fields around. That one up there. Um, in front of field 11. Like, that That doesn't look very big on the mini-map, but that, that's a pretty good field. It's a pretty steep hill, but it's still grass that can be mowed and baled. So, uh, anything that we can mow and bale, if needed, we have it. Uh, I just don't think we're going to need a ton of it, because like I said, I don't plan on... I don't plan on selling a whole lot of bales. Um, we're going to focus mainly on wool and just keeping our sheep fed, that kind of stuff, so. Now, I wonder if this thing will dump. I have no idea. It looks like it's a dump bed, but. Unfold type description. I don't know what that is. We're going to have to play with this trailer. Probably going to sell most of these. Did. Okay. Uh, cruise control stop engine. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, look at that. It will dump. Okay, so if we do this. We get this thing backed up as close as we can anyway. I have to pull up on the hill a little bit here. I bet we can dump this puppy right into there, which is not very realistic at all. But, uh, you know, it's the trade-offs you make. Uh, so what was it, X? Look at that! Hey, that's something. I had no idea. Boy, that right there is the way to go. So we could literally stack up our bales like that. Well, I don't know if they'd actually stack, but either way, uh, a couple thousand, not bad. Uh, we need to buy a stump grinder, like I said. So let's go to the store real quick and see what we can get in the way of stump grinders, forestry equipment. Uh, 5,000, that's not bad at all. Um, I think we had a, a mod under plows? Surely not. The the rhubarb, did I put that on here? I don't think I did. No, I didn't put it on here. How wide was that cultivator? 
That's 2.5. That one's a 5 meter. Dang, yeah, we're knocking it out with that one. Uh, that's a 14.5. We, we'll never get that thing in anywhere. Uh, most of these fields are only about 27, 28 meters wide anyway. Uh, loading wagons. What do we need for a loading wagon? 31,000. It's not too bad. 27,000 for that. That's really neat. I would really like to use that, uh, to be real honest with you. Grass, hair, straw can also be filled with chaff. Yeah, I'd really like to use this thing. That'd be kind of fun. Um, just to collect the, the grass or the hay. No, I wanted to look at mowers. That's what I clicked on. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's the only mower we got. So uh, it does look like it's going to cost us five grand to get one of these, but that's okay. I think the wind rower we picked up yeah, is that one. So uh, three meter. I think we did pick up a tether. We did. It is four meters wide. That's not bad, really. All right, forestry equipment. We are going to need the stump grinder. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, I don't want to buy another one. Back out. Um, and then we need a roller for the ground. So they're miscellaneous. Buy that. Oh, that's what it was. That's the one I saw. Uh, this machine, you can restore the initial ground state delete fields. Okay, so this one does the same thing. Um, but that one hooks to the... No, that, that, that one doesn't hook to it. We need this one, though. Uh, and we're going to leave it yellow, I think. We'll just leave it the stock color. Sweet. This thing does not have a front attachment, no. So we'll have to go... Um, We'll have to go to the store. Oh, look at the cables right there. That's for the lift. That's pretty sweet. I didn't even see that. Look at this, guys. Cables for the lift on the trailer. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll have to go. Uh, we'll have to go to the store and pick that up after we drop this off. So let me get uh, let me get back to the house. And well, you know what? I guess we could use a follow me. We've got another tractor sitting around. And we can't really start mowing until later, so we'll probably mow and bale in the next episode because we're going to need a few bales for the uh, oh, 9,000 new vehicles. Hurts my feelings. Uh, we will need a, a few um, a bales for the sheep really soon, so I'm, I'm going to say next episode we're going to have to do a few bales and stuff, but like I said, it's, they're, they're not big bales. They're 600 liter bales, so um, we'll probably bale quite a few of them. And uh, with season zone, we'll have to pick it up pretty quick, but we can tet it, turn it into hay, uh, and then go pick it up uh, after we uh, after we wind row it up. And we're gonna have to wind row it to get it back in straight lines, because we can't just can't just go out there and all willy nilly and start running the baler across the ground. What is that over there? A little shed with some logs next to it. Okay. Helper J has completed their task. Sweet. What is this guy doing still running? I thought I cut this thing off. I don't guess I did. Wasting fuel is what we're doing. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing back in here now. Like a glove. There we go. Now, uh, this thing does not have a front attachment either, but the uh, Ford does. So we can take the Ford over there. Get under this here. Too far. Too far, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Take the Ford over there. Actually, I need to turn the case off because I didn't realize this thing was still running. Hey, you. Stop. Oh, it's not. The thing was just... It was, it was glitching a little bit, I guess. So, I really like our little trailer here. This thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's 10,000 liters, though. That thing's crazy big. Alright, let's go see if they got all of this for sure. I know on field two they left a little bit. So, we're going to have to go... Yeah, see, they did the same thing here. Uh, left just a little bit. So, we'll finish this up here. Then we'll go finish field two up as well. I don't like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it if I leave that. Can't do it. Gotta get us. We're gonna have to make two swipes here, guys. That's okay though. We'll make sure we get it all. Oh, it looks like they got the rest of the field. So I think they left a little bit on field two the same way. It's kind of strange. It's like uh, 
like the pattern on it's off or something. I'm not real sure. Not real sure what the deal is there. Definitely over far enough. I don't want to get over too far though. Back in the back in the field work here. Now this thing does run right into this hill, doesn't it? And done. Alright, let's head over to field two. And uh certainly get a little stuffy in here. Let's open a window. There we go. A little of air, little of air blow, blow through on us. Now, the question is, what do we want to plant? Uh, we need to do wheat, barley, and canola for sure. We can't do soybeans till the ground gets to 56 degrees, which it is getting pretty close at the moment, so. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of there. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, see this little area right here, they didn't finish up, so. Finish this off. Yeah, not a big deal. One of those things. I didn't realize it, so. There go. And it's just that little stretch right there. I got the rest of it. It's kind of weird. You see there. The rest here. We'll be able to get that. Not run anything over. We should get the whole thing. Maybe. I think we did. If I can just double check real quick. We did. We got it all. Oh, nope. There's a little spot right there. And I won't forgive myself if I leave it either. Go ahead and run this entire edge and then come in from this side. Which incidentally is where this thing needs to go anyway, it needs to go down here, so. Alright, now this thing should be able to grab both of the items we have at the store. So that is why we went to get it. And we're gonna take it. Go. Now then. Ooh. I didn't mean the cruise set to be uh the cruise to be set that high. That's way faster than we need to be going. Now, uh, we get our, um, our roller up here. We can do ground modification with it. And we get our stump grinder. We can grind up those two stumps. Trees we cut down. Oddly enough, the two trees we cut down, I thought were going to be a bigger pain to get cleaned up and out of the way. Uh, it actually didn't take that long. That wasn't too bad at all. I'm pretty happy with the outcome, honestly. I hope nobody's turning down through here. Wasn't a whole lot of room on that road for anybody else to be turning on. And we should be able to get both of these with this tractor, I would think, anyway. Um, and really, we can leave them both on here for a minute, because we're going to have to have both of these. So, if we can just turn it in here. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure... Uh, yeah, let's lift that. Well, we don't do anything else with it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to start removing stuff here at the store. I want to leave this as as the uh, original ground state. Now, this thing, on the other hand, uh, I think having that additional weight on the front is going to help us out a lot because uh, we're going to go ahead and leave that on there as well. But we're going to pick it up. Go, can I lift it? Oh, I can. Look at that. Wait a minute, does that lift the legs? It does, look at there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do that with it. We'll leave it straight out behind us there. This thing feels pretty balanced, honestly, with the amount of weight we have on it. Uh, so this thing does a pretty good job. As far as hauling some weight here, because this is, this is a pretty big load for this thing. That's a big... Uh, that's a big stump grinder. Now, how do we get into this field? Is it right here? I was looking around. Yeah, it looks to be right here. There's no no fence there. So, yeah, we could come down here and mow if we needed to. 
Uh, I think we'll just start right here next to the sheep pen and see where it goes from there. Probably not the worst option. Alright, now. Find these two stumps. There's one. Does seem to be grinding away on it. There we go. Pick that up. The other one should be like right here. Yeah, there it is. I see it. Right here somewhere. Right there. Put our legs down. Gone. Some of these are kind of weird, so you got to make sure you hit them right. All right, done deal. Turn that off. Yeah, we can go drop this. I'm going to keep this thing because I'm going to do some more logging for sure. I just want to get kind of a better setup before we do too much of it. Now, where do I put the thing? That's the big question. I don't really have anywhere to store this stupid thing. Uh, you know what I guess I could do? I don't really know. Back this puppy around here. Put it on this side. It's not really uh, ideal, but this is a brand new piece of machinery and forestry equipment is expensive, so. Uh, really need to take care of it as much as possible. Oh, I think I may have done something bad there. There we go. Let me get back here so I can unhook all that. Climb back in, perfect. Now is this too heavy? No, that's about right, okay. Uh, now, what do I want to do here? I just want to make this dirt. I want to make it pretty clean, like as close to the road as we can get here. So let's go remove grass, yes. Uh, ground type. Cultivated, plowed, sowed, sowed wide, grass field, asphalt, sand, concrete. Pine needles, grass, gravel, leaves, rock, mud, plates, dirt. Let's go with dirt. Do what kind of dirt that gives us. Not gonna remove these bushes though, is it? Oh uh, man, see, I need to remove those bushes, and I would like to plow that up and remove them, but I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to go like, right up against the field here. I feel like. Yeah, we're gonna have to go right up against the field. I think I'm gonna have to plow all those up. If they'll plow up, they may not even plow up. Some of these won't. Some of these are permanent on the on the map, so some of these won't do anything. Although the field is looking, I mean the road's looking good. Not a bad looking road. It's just gonna be really narrow, I guess. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I don't want to get on the field too much. We've already gotten on it a little bit, so. We're going to have to be just very careful not to get on the road. I mean, not to get on the field. Uh, we're going to have to deal with driving through some of these bushes because I don't think I can get rid of them. I've got the remove grass feature on and they're still there. Plowing it up would be the only option, I guess. And I don't know if I can do that. I can go find out, though. bump that a little more there now let's uh, turn that off let's go original ground Boy, we can truck back through here uh, this is not a bad road but I don't know I want to get rid of those bushes and I don't think I can so I'm gonna grab the plow real quick and see if I can just plow those in because the the ground modifier is not doing it as you can see it it goes underneath it so this isn't bad. Uh, it's just not as wide as I was really hoping for. We may have to take time and just do a lot more work to this at some point. Uh, I'm just going to back all the way over and grab a plow. 
Probably have to turn allow create fields on and then return original ground state or just go over it after that. So, not real sure. Uh, allow create fields. Okay. We're going to start right here. Let's see if we can get rid of these. No. Bushes do not go away. Okay. So we're going to turn allow create fields off. The limit fields. Then we're going to take this and we're going to tell it original ground state. No, not that one. This one. Cover that back up there. There we go. That's what we may have to do. May have to cut into the field a little bit. That is not quite wide enough. So uh, we're going to take a little bit of this off the field here. I know that's not right. I know that I know that we need the field, but we have plenty of the field. I just don't have a way to get out of here. So gravel, leaves, rock, mud, plates, dirt, grass. Yes. Yeah, we'll just have to make the field a little bit wider here. I mean, uh, the road a little bit wider. We'll lose a little bit of the field, which is not such a big deal, really. There we go. Now pick it up take off remove grass and let's add grass grass field okay now I'm making a barrier between uh, the road and my field now, I wonder if I hire a hand on this where they plow up they might they might plow up the whole dang thing I mean, I would hope not, though, because they, they should recognize this is not a field anymore. Kind of what I'm hoping, right? Let's lower that down. We're going to add just a little barrier here between the field and the road. That's not so bad. If the tire tracks were gone off of it. That's really not so bad. Right, let's put this back on original ground state. That's not bad at all, really, guys. I mean, I don't think so. We got a nice, nice little road here, all the way out. I've uh, got our little grass barrier right here, which is not bad. What do you guys think? You guys let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this? I think this is okay. This looks pretty natural to the map. With the exception of the tire tracks, of course. But I mean, this doesn't look bad at all. Come down here. You make your turn. Have to cheat into the field a little bit, but not too bad. Got a nice little road out. I think that looks okay, guys. I want to hear your thoughts on it. You guys let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next one. That's all I have time for today. Uh, if you haven't been, keep up with the multiplayer, of course. Keep up with my Twitch channel. There's a link down below. I do stream on Twitch as much as I stream on YouTube. Uh, so if you guys want to come hang out over on Twitch, you're more than welcome to. I will see you there. Thanks for watching. Later, everybody.